Hello people, no I'm FM here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to master the shape tool. So let's get down to it. For today, tool under the pick tool, which is called the shape tool. So you can see in the bracket you have F10, which is the short code for the shape tool. So other than clicking the shape tool for me, I can equally click F10 on my keyboard and it will bring out the shape tool. It also says edit a curved object or text character by manipulating the nodes. So I'll be showing you how to do that in a bit. So first of all, select our pick tool and we'll select a rectangle tool. Hold down Ctrl and click and drag to get a perfect square. Then we click on P on our keyboard to place it at the middle. We'll zoom in a bit and click F10 on our keyboard to bring out the pick the shape tool so you can see once i've clicked f10 on my keyboard so when i go back you can see with the shape highlighted with the pick tool you can see that we have just three nodes in all corners but once i click f10 to activate the shape tool you can see there's just four nodes in each corners of the shape so once you click and drag this node, it will curve the square. So you can click and drag until you have a perfect cycle curve. What if I what if I just want to curve just one edge of the circle, not just everything like this? So if I want to curve just the edge of the circle, I'll just click on the node I want to curve. So you notice that the node which I click on is the only one showing black which means it is highlighted and the rest have no black which means I did not select the rest so when I click and drag it you see that it will, it, it's only that node now that is actually covering because it's the only one I highlighted what if I want to curve just two nodes okay so I'll click on one of the nodes I want to curve holding down my shift I'll click on the second node then I click and drag you can see that both of the nodes are actually being curved. Alright, so you can also click on the node and right click. So you see convert to curves. Or you can just hit Ctrl Q on your keyboard to convert this square shape into a curve. So when you click on convert to curve, what it does is that it turns every every line every angle of the shape into an independent line joined together so you can see that all these nodes I don't they're all looking like a straight line that went from here and joined back here so once I click on this once I click on a node and I click I can break the node that is I can separate them from joining together so once I click break node I have separated the square from this side so when I click and drag here you can see that they are not independent they are no more joined to each other so you can also join them back by clicking on a node holding down your shift click on the second node right click and you hit on join so you can see once you click join it's like they are forced to to come together you can also look at it like they are forced to come together to join with each other so another way for joining the nodes without using the join once you have the two nodes selected you can head over to your windows right here and you click on this to close curve you can see it says join or detach the end of the end nodes of a curve so right now I want to join the end nodes of this curve without causing them to actually force to each other. So once you click on close curve, you can see it created an additional line and went ahead and joined the two nodes together without forcing those two lines to come together. Okay, so hit Ctrl Z now. Alright, so you can actually add a node. And delete so right now once you click on your 
shape now you can see that you have only four nodes on each corner you can add two more by just double clicking double click so you can see you can add a node by just double clicking on any part any spot on the line anywhere at all in the line just double click and you have added a node so to delete also the same way you don't double click on the node you just added and it will delete so after adding the node you can manipulate them by clicking and dragging so I'll click here you can see i can drag it just like this you can just manipulate them double click to add another node and just manipulate it just like this so i can also make a I also make a line to be curved so i don't want to make this line to be curved i'll just click on the line right click and i'll click on to curve so you see i've converted this line to curve so i can just click and drag whichever direction to curve the line i can drag it down to make it curved or i can drag it up to make it curve just like this I can also click on any end of the node, either the right or the left. You will see this two hour up. So I can individually curve each edge of the line. I can curve this part up or down, just like this. The same way I can curve this other part up or down. So whichever way you want, or you just curve from the middle, just like this. Or you just curve from the middle to make it curve just like this so whichever we want you can just manipulate it till it suits you when we give this a color then we we'll move on okay so let's insert let's insert a circle hold it down shift while you select the ellipse tool you will get a perfect circle so once you click F10 on your select your shape tool also, you notice that this circle is actually having just one node, which is at the top. Once you click on that node, if you drag to the left hand side, it will bring out a fragment of the circle out, just like a slice of a pizza, it will bring it out. You can see, it will delete everything else and just bring out a fragment or a slice out of the circle. So if I hit Ctrl Z now, if you drag it to the right hand side, it will actually do the opposite. If you notice, once we drag to the left hand side, it all brought out a fragment, just like a slice of a pizza out. But when we drag to the left hand side, it will remove, it will delete that slice of pizza and keep the rest of the circle just like this. Just like something like Pac-Man. Yeah, something like this. So that is it for the node. You drag to the left, it will keep the slice of pizza. You drag to the right, it will delete the slice of pizza and keep the remaining part of the circle. So you can also convert the circle into a curve. I right? just click on the node, right click as well. Then you click on convert to curve. So you can see now that there are additional nodes on the four corners of the shape and being that this shape is a circle which means it's already curved naturally you can see that the nodes are already curved so you don't need to right click and click to curve again rather you can either convert it back to a straight line just click to line you can see the curve is converted to a straight line you can do the same thing for the second one I see that they are converted to a straight line. Do the same thing here until you get a square. So, so you can convert them to a straight line. You can also manipulate the you can manipulate the curves. You can bring it down a little bit. Adjust adjust it to your case. Yeah. 
Yeah. So that is it. You can manipulate all the curves. You can also add another node by just double clicking anywhere. You can see you can add a node. Just click and drop to manipulate the node as you wish. Also make it straight. You can also delete a node by just double clicking. You can delete a node by double clicking. So alright. So let's give this a color. Alright, so that's it guys, that's how to master the shape tool, we have seen how to use the shape tool to curve edges, we have seen how to use it to break, join, we have seen how to convert it to curve and manipulate their nodes. So once we started talking about the pen tool, we will see more use cases for the shape tool. So that's it for now, that's all about the shape tool for now, I hope this video was helpful, if it was drop a like. If you have any question on the shape tool or there's a part I have not touched, you can leave it down in the comment section below. I can also share this video to others. Thank you all and I'll see you guys in the next. Peace out.